Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are sound and safe. By now, you would have got a clear idea on how to register for Codeva 2022 competition. If not, then you can check out the link in the description of that particular video. So now, let's understand how to record and upload the video on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm Suhan Aneja and I study in class 9th. I'm 14 years old and I live in Noida, Uttar Pradesh, India. I study in some of the school Noida and the hobbies include coding, writing, painting, drawing, etc. I want to make the earth a better place to live. Let's start through coding. But wait, first let me brief you why I chose this topic. Now as I already told you, I want to make the earth a better place to live. That is why I chose the topic save the environment. Now if we talk about current scenario in Delhi, the maximum AQI that Delhi reached was 462 and Delhi is considered one of the most polluted cities in the world. And talking about the current scenarios, we can say that the future generation is not safe. This includes many reasons. One of them is pollution. And when we talk about pollution, one of the major things that comes to our mind is burning of plastic. It is high time that we need to reduce the plastic usage and we should follow the 5 R's. That is reduce, reuse, recycle, refuse and rot. We should also try and decompose the biodegradable items such as vegetable peels, paper, etc. Now why I told you these things was because my project is related to this. The name of my project is Ecobin. As the name suggests, it is a dustbin with enhanced quality and function that we will talk about today. that it recognizes the object being thrown in it, that is whether it is non-biodegradable or biodegradable. It only accepts biodegradable items. And this was done using machine learning extension of PictoBlocks. Since Ecobin is a complete automatic machine, the flap of the dustbin opens on its own using a servo motor. Another feature of Ecobin is that it recognizes that an object is being thrown in it. This is done using an IR proximity sensor. When the IR proximity sensor senses an object, the servo motor lets the manure in the dustbin and the reader module starts and hence letting the water into the dustbin. This helps in decomposing the biodegradable items. Another feature of Ecobin is that it sends a notification to your phone when the dustbin is full. This is done using the IFTTT extension of PictoBlocks. Hello, I am Toby. The object is biodegradable. Please put it in the trash can. The object is non-biodegradable. The servo Please doesn't move, it. showing Thank that it you. is only for biodegradable items. Now that the biodegradable item is inside the bin, the IR proximity at the head of the trash bin will react. So, when the object is falling like this, It comes within the IR proximity which initiates the water pump. Now as we can see this glass is empty. We will just put it here and we will allow the tube to go into the glass. Now when the object touches the IR proximity We can hear that the water begins to pump. And now that I have done. We 
we can see that there is water in the glass. So this is how the water pump works. Now when the eye proximity touches the object along with the water pump the servo motor will also react. When there is a change in the position of that servo it lets the manure in the dustbin. So now I have disabled the water pump. Now I will keep my phone inside this to show you the mechanism of the manure. See how the manure starts to fall. The opening will close after 16 seconds. So now let me tell you how Ecobin sends a message when the dustbin is full. So here I have the eye proximity sensor. So when the object reaches to a level of this, the eye proximity sensor reacts. And as we can see here, the message is sent via the IFTTT app. Here is the screenshot of the applet made by me in IFTTT app. So these were the working features of my Ecobin project. These biodegradable items are then exposed to water and manure periodically and hence the compost can be used in various ways. It can be used as an organic fertilizer for the plants. This way we are helping plants as well as ourselves. Also plants give us oxygen. So indirectly our home waste is giving us oxygen. So I made some manure using the EcoBin project. This manure is made up of vegetable peels and dried leaves. So this is a small initiative of making the earth a better place to live. This was the first stepping stone to success. So this was my project EcoBin. I hope you like my project. Thank you. All right. So now you have successfully created your video. So let's upload this video on YouTube. Open YouTube in your web browser and then click on create. Select upload video. Now select the video that you have just recorded. After that give a project video title. You can give the description in which you can include about your project and the theme. After that, you can upload the thumbnail if you have clicked any and you have to select the audience type. So I will select yes, it's made for kids. Then I will click on next. Once again, I will click on next and in the checks also, I will click on next. So over here, if I want, I can pub uh, publish this video privately, unlistedly or publicly. So I would prefer making this, uh, publishing this video as unlisted so that I can share this link while submitting my project for Codeva 2022. After that, you can just click on save and the video is published. So this video that I have created, this is just a demonstration video. The video size can of course differ. You can give more description about your project, why you have chosen the theme and other things about related to your project, the code explanation and so on and so forth. So you have to copy this link and you have to submit it on the Codevo 2022 official website. I hope this video may make it clear to how to record a project video and how to upload it on YouTube. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.